Huxley on the secrets of Neros. Four intrepid adventurers arrived in the town of Kron and joined a guild known as the Kings of the Craft. The party has faced several challenges thus far, but have proved their mettle and advanced from E to D rank, though their trials have only just begun. During a recent outing, the party bore witness to a perturbing spectacle that was fraught with torture and unsettling ideas as a tiefling and warlock were publicly executed by the enigmatic cult of Eldef. The party, unable to conceal their indignation and disgust, drew unwanted attention from the crowd. In response, Simeon attempted to placate the jeering masses by claiming he was an advocate for the innocent, just as the executioner had previously proclaimed. Though Simeon succeeded in defusing the conflict, his words may have unforeseen ramifications, as he piqued the curiosity of the executioner, which has already impacted the guild. Finally, the party continued their investigation of the late Bradigan Farley estate. Motivated by intrigue, but running short on leads, a cryptic puzzle now bars further progress which appears to require three rectangular gems. However, Flint acquired one of the gems via an apparition of Bradley Falling, after the former besieged Flint to find his brother Damien before turning to dust, prompting the party to investigate the summer house during the night. Shortly after, a desperate struggle ensued against another Falling apparition, who arrived in anguish and spitefully lashed out against the party. After the killing blow was struck, Simeon discovered another gem amongst the remains. The party rested the next day, and entered the manor again after nightfall, where they were greeted by a being clad in emerald. And thus, our story continues, as we learn the secrets of Neros. Going live and live now. Yeah, we're live. Hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, hello, everyone. So, um, hopefully, people enjoyed story time. Um, we're also uh, we were just kind of joking as we started, then that we should basically have like a uh, doom sort of like in the library with the with like uh, the bathrobe kind of <laughs> speaking over the <laughs> animation. <laughs> now, just one second. And... No one mentioned the bathrobe. That was all you. <laughs> I thought that was kind need, of what you were implying. Need like the Hugh the Hugh Hefner. Like, yeah, road. that's exactly what I was thinking. With, like, <laughs> with the with the pipe, the bubble pipe, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and the chocolate cigar. Oh, an actual cigar. A pipe and a cigar at the same time. Yeah. Why do Why? Had the book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aren't we there? To, to be fair, considering how exaggerated that. Yeah, that's fine. I'm very quiet compared to everyone else. That is probably because I turned myself down because it's not like I was shouting at everyone. Uh, okay, truly, is that any better? Hello, hello. Um, I don't, I don't know if like the head on your hands means that. Okay, that's better. Okay, great. Yeah, I didn't actually know whether I was speaking a little bit too loudly in previous streams, so I'll probably not that down quite a bit. So cheers for the feedback. So, um, back again. Um, Look at Elf showing off, resting his head on his actual headrest. When it com mine comes to my lower, well, my, my middle, my shoulder blades. I never do that. I've got such bad posture. Mm. Uh, not, as, not as bad as I've had, probably. Well, anyway, if we could talk about bad problems until the cows come home, we have a, a new addition on <laughs> the stream this week, Doom. So we now have music. Hey. Gotta fill the awkward silence of summer. Hey, there's not that many of them. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, there isn't really. I know, I know, I know. Only when I've got to make a decision. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. So, yeah. so, yeah, take it away, Doom. Is everybody ready? No. Are you, are you in Roll20, Doom? I didn't actually check. Yes, I am in Roll20. Okay, you're in Roll20. Good. I just gotta find the right tab, that's all. Good. Okay. okay. So everyone has entered the manor during the night. As you enter the manor in the central staircase, you see a woman draped in emerald standing on the stairs, looking down at you. What are you doing 
in my house. Being the less charismatic individual, I'm going to let someone else take over this time. Oh, uh, greetings, madam. Uh, we are here. We're we are here to help. Help. She narrows her eyes. Uh, yes, we, um, uh, we heard you had missing children. We're here to, uh, help find them. She sniffs at the air, raising her head slightly. Jezebel. She waits for a moment. And nothing happens. Uh, to which she looks around. Jezebel. child she starts to walk down the steps slowly towards you all I could do getting a character token just to represent her can I like just instinctively cast mage on myself hold out the gem flint right there use that one she starts to walk down Oh, the butcher's here. You are not welcome here. She then looks towards Finian, and you notice a frown crease her brow. You, in particular, are not welcome here. Um, Get out. As she now has eyes and says that to Finian, I kind of step in front of Finian instinctively and just ask... Why are we not welcome here? She looks you up and down, but the scowl doesn't leave her face. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not seeing this sort of in a confrontational manner. I'm just asking the question plainly. This is my home, Jezebel. Still nothing. What have you done? Who are you calling? Is she... Is she a servant? Daughter? My daughter. Why would you presume that we've done anything? Jezebel doesn't answer. I know your presence has been here from the last couple of days. I can smell it. She walks straight up to Finian and looks him up and down. As I say, I'm kind of stood in front of Finian. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot to move myself. Actually, I don't think Finian's on the map, is he? He is. Yes. Oh, right. On top of it. Alright, fair enough. With you standing staunchly in front. She reaches out and touches your shoulder. Make an opposed strength. Opposed strength. I'd say with disadvantage, given you're not going to exactly expect it. But then again, I am kind of on guard. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, fair enough. Just simply explode. I'd probably just strength. say opposed strength then. Uh, saving throw is this? Just outright strength roll. Okay. Uh, 12. So, yeah, barely, but. Right. Uh -oh. She briefly struggles with you, then throws you 10 foot in that <laughs> direction. Okay. She then grabs Finian by the throat and lifts him off his feet. What have you done? Am I able to tackle her? If you want to, go ahead. Well, I mean, I'm going to try, considering that she's... I Just make it as an outright attack roll. Right. Okay. Uh, just a d20? Yep. Not trying to hurt her, I'm just trying to get her away from Finian. If I can even do that. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing that. <laughs> You pass straight through her and collapse on the floor on the other side. 
<clears throat> she looks down at you. Please. Get I out. don't know what we have done she drops to, opinion. to offend you, but please. Let's just talk this out. Leave. She's going to make an attack roll. Against me or against Finian? Against you, because okay. you tried to tackle her. Yeah, that's fair. Good okay. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. Wow. opening roll. Wow, Jesus Christ. Okay. To be honest, that would have been with advantage as well, because you uh, pass through where you'd be on the floor. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But yeah, I don't need to give the advantage of that, so. Yeah. Would she, is she within five feet of me? I don't care. Yes, well, again, is. if you get disadvantage, it cancels it out. She is? Yes, but you're not technically in combat. Oh, it no. will be as soon as this attack gone, but. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm either. Never mind. Like this. This is, the thing only happens when they enter my reach. She's been no. standing there for a while. Okay. <laughs> right. So. So the damage is 2d6 plus 3. Oh. Wow, you are fucking lucky. Oh. 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 So that's going to be uh, oh, 7 God. damage. 7 damage? Yep, because it was an at. Okay. Bloody hell. And now, everyone roll initiative. Okay, I suppose as I say that, I'll just sort of shout to her. She's a lot stronger than she looks, be careful. Oh man, music building up. Perfect time. <laughs> yeah, the music kicked in it just as things started <laughs> happening. Beat dropped. Okie dokie, so that's going to be... Actually, I need to roll for her as well. Oh no, sorry, I did roll for her, but I didn't roll for Finian. What his buff is plus four. Damn. Finian said I was last though. <laughs> Simeon, Flint, Ghost, Nagrax, and Finian. Okie dokie. And with that, you've entered combat. Simeon, it's your turn. I want to smack a bitch. Go ahead then. Something less offensive. I'm just going to attack with the old spear. Okie dokie. That's. Oh, not oh, it's not that, is it? <laughs> Okie dokie. Still not bad. And roll your damage. Seven, and I'll use my bonus action to shove her in near that barrel, I guess, close to that barrel. Okie dokie. There, with the, with the shield. Was it just an automatic hit for the shove? Yeah, it just says when I make an attack. Okay. Use a bonus to shove. All right, you push her back. And I'm going to step in front of uh, Finian after that, and I guess end my turn. All right, then. Since it's your turn. Okay, then. Well, you know what I'm going to do, right? Magic missiles, level two. <laughs> How many is it again? Doom the music's dropped, by the way, just to make you aware. I did that on purpose. Okay. I was getting a bit too loud. Two, a three, and a two. Wait, what? Did it a second level. Yeah. Oh, we did a second level. All right, okay. Yeah. So that's going to be seven, eight, no, nine, big seven. damage. Okay, so that's doop. Um, last one though, when I got three fives in a row. Actually, I just realised a little mistake I made. Let's fix that quickly. Okay, okay. And you end your turn? Yeah. You'll now go to the ghost's turn. Her complexion suddenly starts to worsen. Previously, she looked beautiful, but her skin starts to become more haggard rapidly. She looks around at everyone, but fixes her eyes straight onto Finian. And you see hate cross her face. 
she is going to move straight up to Finian. Mm. Which she'll pass straight through Simeon. Does my reaction, Polarm reaction, uh, Polarm master reaction not count here? If she moves up to my square, I get an opportunity attack. Well, she gets an opportunity attack if she moves past me anyway, right? I still get opportunity yeah. attack myself. I don't know how it works if it's a ghost moving through you. Yeah. The ghost can move through objects and creatures as if it were difficult terrain. It doesn't say anything about cancelling out opportunity attacks. So I'll get one as well. Don't know if that'll be allowed. Just casting a spell. Uh, I don't know if she moved through mm. your square. I'd say, given I've moved through Simeon, you won't get one. However, okay. the other two could, given I was in five feet of both of you. Are you talking about Nagrax and Finian, or are you talking about Finian and Flint? Nagrax and Flint. Right. Okay, I mean, I'd go for the opportunity attack. It's available. Yeah, okay, uh, you make your attack. Is it just D20 again? It's whatever your attack roll is. Uh, yeah, okay. Regular attack. Just uh, with my plus one mace. Are you using your plus one mace? I am in this fight. Okay. Do I have to roll to hit first? Uh... You do, yes. Okay, your plus one mace definitely hits. Well. <laughs> you drop your staff. Uh... Are you trying to hit? I... Actually, you know what? No. You hit Simeon instead. God damn it. <laughs> roll just a d4 damage. Can I use my reaction to take no damage with the shield? <laughs> Hang on, let me read what that does. No. Nope. <laughs> Not unless that's specifically something you have. <laughs> uh, five damage for me, by the way, Doom. Okie dokie. There's uh, Flint. Oh, damage. no. It's, uh, it, oh. it's a half damage thing. All right. If I save half damage, I can take none with the shield. Right, so well, works. you take one damage. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Bonking you. I'm going to get bad rolls today. Watch where you're swinging. <clears throat> Sorry, I've done now she has I'm... moved towards Finian, she is going to. She's just going to make an outright attack against him, and she misses. And that's going to be the end of her turn. Now it goes to Nagrax. Okay, let's see. Right, I think uh, Nagrax is going to begin his turn, but I am just debating between two separate things. Yeah, I think what I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast uh, bless. Mm -hmm. and, uh, let me just double check um, that. So yeah, I've got the bonus fight, and it's within 30 feet, so this is, I'm guessing everyone's within 30 feet, so uh, specifically targeting uh, Flint, Finian, and Simeon. Okay. So then. I don't know if you, did I, yeah, I put the thing in, so basically when you do an attack roll or a saving throw, you can roll a 1d4 and add that to your roll, just to make things nice. easier to hit. Uh, bonus action. I'm going to do spiritual weapon. The bonk is coming out. Yes. We need a token for the magic. I like song. how the music gets in the bonk. The true hero survived. Okay, so um, so upon summoning the bonk, it now gets its uh, attack roll against. Uh, so, that hits. Hit. Yeah. <laughs> Body help. <laughs> God damn. This is where Doom unnerfs the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, with that, um, Nagrax will end his turn. Yes, one in a second. Alrighty. That will be Finian's turn. <clears throat> Finian is going to make two straight weapon attacks against it. Or straight uh, punch attacks, I should say. And that's going to be plus six to each one. Cool. 
First one hits, second one hits. Okay, okay, so that is a D4 plus four. I think. Yeah, so remember uh, Bless as well if you fall short, Doom. Yeah, I will do. I am going to have to remind us to uh, this guy's if we can. Okie dokie. He lands both punches in, then uh, steps back. Then the ghost is going to take a legendary action. Legendary action. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. This is the thing. I do not know what one of these is. Would you please? You'll have to find out. I don't think you're going to like it very much. Is it Unalaska's Megadeth? Um, don't give him ideas. Don't give him <laughs> what happens. <laughs> She is going to attempt to cause him to levitate. Uh, Finny. She's going to do a spell attack, yes. And a success, he's going to take a lot of damage. Okay. Is she, like, force throwing uh, him? Does Finny get the same thing throw against this? Uh, actually, yes, you're right. I'm doing it the wrong way around, aren't I? Whoops. Uh, what is his saving throws? It's going to be a con save, specifically. It's only plus two that he gets, so I re-roll that. And uh, 1d4 on top of that. What the d4? Oh, not much better. Wouldn't have been enough that. anyway. Yeah. Okay then. Let's try. He's going to take 2d8 force damage, and he's going to get thrown against the wall against Flint. So Flint is going to take a d4 bludgeoning damage. Flint's going to get, take a d4. Okay. okay, so Finian takes 8 damage. Uh, I'll just roll your damage for you. You take 4 damage, Flint. God damn it. Three fours in a row, I'm calling hijinks. Okay. Oof. Now Finian's turn is over. Back to the top. Back to Simeon. All right. I'm gonna step between us and her. And go for the old spear attack again. Okay, okay. Go for your old spear attack. That hits. Fifteen. Okay, okay. Eight damage. Oh, fuck yeah, I'm gonna action surgeon <laughs> hit her again. Okay. That's, okay. That's the crit, baby. Roll your damage. Does your damage automatically add the modifier? I don't know. Uh, no, it just does a plus three as normal. Alright, so it's gonna be uh, nine that you deal. Yeah. Okie dokie, after you action surge, you see what seems to be her flash tear open very badly on her chest. The dress is now rags on her. What's tear open on her chest? Oh no! Did I do like the yeah, anime, flash. like, yeah, so sword like cut this... and her dress just falls off? Oh, Fuck. It's, just, it's like the shirt's <laughs> coming off. Yeah, she did that, but also her entire chest came off with it. Oh, a rib cage. oh, that's even hotter. No, <laughs> I mean I disagree personally, but yeah. Okay. Uh, that, that's, me, that's me done. Yep. yep. Enter Flint. Uh, to you're currently prone. So how much do you get to get up? Take get feeling like I'm guessing. I think it's fifteen feet of movement to get up. Oh, it's a number right. Or half movements, that might be right. That sounds all right. Both are right if that counts. Or you yeah. could just stay prone and attack for prone if you really want. Nah, I'll, I'll get up. Okay then. It's not like laying on your side. <laughs> Fireball. Oh god, I, I, no! <laughs> no. In heck, blaze of glory. But I don't think we're quite there yet. 
I'll do that and cast another level two magic missiles. Okay then, cast your magic missiles. Kidoki, as your last missile hits, you notice her stumbling back slightly. You seem to have had a big impact on her. And again, she's starting to look more and more withered. Oof. And you end your turn? I do, yeah. Okay. That's I would right. try and help um, Finny up, but I'm guessing that would count as another action. That would be... I'd probably say it has to be your action to get him up, specifically. Fair enough. But then yeah, I am that turn. She looks quickly across everyone. You see her eyes darting back and forth. And she says slowly, Get. And the last word, she screams out. Everyone make a will save. You have to beat a DC 15. Wisdom? Oh. Yes. I do not. I need um, to roll. Also, uh, remember Glyph's 1d4. Won't matter for me. If it's if it, what, DC 15, it doesn't matter for oh, me. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't realize that. <laughs> Even with that, it no. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I, I needed a 2, I got 1, so. Ah, yeah. oh, Jesus Christ. Right, so Simeon and Flint. You both take a D8 of psychic damage. Guessing the shield can't block that for... Oh, well, I didn't succeed anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah. Nice. So you both take six damage. Six damage each. Okay. She's screaming real good. Oh. And I said... It is now your turn, now Grex. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a look. So I think I'm going to, I think for my action this turn, probably the best thing I can do is my channel divinity. So that's okay. going to sort of spread my healing uh, several of us. So I am going to give six points back to Flint and Simeon each and give the remaining mm. three to uh, Finian. Okie dokie. Thanks, dog. I forgot to note how much damage Finian took. That's okay, appreciate. damage. Take damage, was it? All right. Yeah, uh, I'm, not, I'm not tracking it, I just remember. I'm tracking the mob more than I am Finian, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, that's reasonable. Back up to almost full. Feeling good. Okay then. Um, Fine. Thank you. Just see, uh, bonus action. Bonk. Shall I try again? Come on, bonk. One hit kill. Come on, bonk near. That hits. <laughs> okay. Seven damage. Your bonk. Her head comes clean off. And the body collapses. Turning into dust. Bonk MVP. Oh. It would seem, anyway. <clears throat> oh. In um, the dust, as it get, as you see it slowly crumble down, you see an object. Right. Just mean, hidden underneath. I mean, Simeon's nearest to her, so he'd probably see that before the rest of us. Well. That's one way of getting ahead there, now, Grex. I don't understand. I didn't get anything. The hammer just knocked her head off. I'll explain it when you're older. Is everyone all right? Finian, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine, fine. Thank you. He'll get up and try to dress himself off a little bit. It would be unwise to stay here. Oh. I'm, I can't explain it. I don't... We, we barely fought, but... That, that seemed far too close to comfort. You weaklings! 
This battle was nothing. <laughs> did she drop a gem like the others did? Can I investigate the pile of dust? When you look in the pile of dust, you can see a book. It's red leather bound with the number that you were looking for previously on it. I think it was 17. You fuck. <laughs> Tell the fucking know. world upside looking for that damn book. Really, really good work, or I don't think it'd be a good idea to linger in here tonight. Do we, were we, we were looking for this, yes? This was a missing piece? We were. Well, we could access the bookcase during the day. We could. I think after the we've just had it would probably be best. I, would imagine. I was w wondering about the child upstairs. There was clearly some sort of spirit in that in that room up there. If it was that powerful in the day, what would it be like in the night? I think everything in this mansion is considerably stronger at night. If we proceed, Simeon, I would strongly advise we do so with caution. I understand that you believe that we can take this undertaking on in one go, but that was more than I was expecting at the front door. <laughs> that was nothing! I could use the Detect from Dead Squad I found to see if there were any more nasties in the house. That might cause us harm. I'll leave it down to your discretion. Whatever you decide, I'll I'll support you, but I think we should tread carefully. What do you think, Simeon? I agree. We use the scroll, see if there's any more around. If there are, at least we know what we're up against. Okay, then I'd like to um, use the Detectum Dead Scroll. I'm not quite sure how to do that, though. All right, so use the scroll. You basically lift it up, and you like, speak an activation word. Or just however you would normally cast a spell. That's how it activates itself. Okay. Uh, I'm going to quickly look up the wording. I take the scroll out, back my thumb, yeah. smear some blood on it, and then summon... Something that detects them dead. Okay. It allows you to detect within 30 feet of you. Okay. As you use this scroll, you suddenly feel a very strong presence. You feel it weighing down on you suddenly, on your chest, like a weight has just been placed straight on top of it. It looks like it's coming from everywhere around you. Could I tell him? He's the only one that used the spell. Can I detect if it's from one source or multiple? No, you can't. You can simply feel the rest of them everywhere. What, what, what was this? I'd say that you can feel it concentrated heavier above you. That's about it. Something extremely powerful. All around us. Above, maybe? Who knows? I thought as much. You're probably right with your prediction. It might be the child. I think it has more power than the mother. Never underestimate the young Simeon. They can surprise us all. You're near, okay. Can I take? Can I'm gonna walk towards the stairs, sort of look up. You look up. up you just see the landing above you. If it is the child upstairs, and he said, "Give it back," maybe he meant the missing book. I assumed it was toys, but. You know. All of the apparitions we have encountered so far seem to, like, I can only assume that 
the Jezebel that that being in Emerald spoke of was perhaps the apparition we faced back at the Summer House. Maybe they want the gems, just like we do. Didn't... Didn't you say, Flint, that that Bradley said that you he wanted you to make them whole? I'm wondering if that's what they were referring to. Maybe. Does anyone recall what room the books were in? I believe it was towards the right of of the manor. Maybe we could return the book, see if anything happens. As I said, we can continue to traverse the manor during the night, but I would be very cautious. It might also be worth checking the the cellar where that secret room was, see if it's possible that like it's open during the night. I mean, maybe that's what the book may allow us to access, but honestly, I couldn't say. I say we put the book back first, then check the cellar. What say you, Simeon? That sounds like a good plan. Do not worry, I will protect you all. And what are your thoughts, Finian? I forgot I can pay. Yeah, yeah, sure. We, let's put the book back. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to see what happens, would it? Okay. Be done, Flint. What harm ever came from returning someone's property? As we're walking, can I just cast Mage Armor on myself? Go ahead. You all make your way towards the room. You're just fine. And you make your way inside. All fine as well. You do notice, however, when you enter, there's a glow from the fireplace. There's no fire there, but there is a faint glow as if there should be. There's visibly no flames, it just seems like there's light from a source no of No flames, no wood. It just seems to be a source of light for some reason. That's odd, but we should probably just do what we came here to do, I'd say, Flint. Do I get the sense that there should be a fire in there? Raw, kind of. Twelve. For a twelve, you feel like it's an artificial light of some form. But that's all you feel. I wonder if something I wonder if something is monitoring our movements through the manor. Hmm. I wouldn't doubt it. But our intentions are good. I promise you. Considering our recent actions, Simeon, we may need to try a lot harder than that to convince them. She she attacked us. We acted she, in self defense. Yes, I I know, Simeon. I know that our intentions are pure. But they seem to be innately hostile. I can't shake the feeling about this fireplace, guys. Can I make a bonfire in the center? Go ahead if you want. Yeah, then I cast Bonfire in the center. The bonfire appears in the center. The light comes off stronger from the bonfire. But nothing happens. Hmm. Well, at least we're warm now. Yes, I, I suppose we are, Flint. Uh, who, the book. The book. You have it, don't you? Did I not give it you? No. Well, you never said you did. Okay. I'll put the book back. 
Okay, as you place the book back in, it suddenly becomes stuck in place where you put it in. You hear a series of gears moving behind it, and then several echoes sound throughout the house. And a panel opens up next to you. Oh? Intriguing. A small room opens up with a chest. Oh, some some hidden treasure. I uh, can I? I would check for traps first, Simeon. You know what this place has been like previous. Yes, yes, you are right. There are many devious shenanigans and trickery at play here. Is your one still in working order, Flint? Uh, yes, yes, it is. So to use charge on it. I do. Okay. You don't detect any traps. Oh, seems good. Excellent. I'll open the chest. Okie dokie, you open up the chest and roll your investigation and see what you find. That's a not bad. Scene, it's a one off, really good though. Okay. Okie dokie, inside you see a collection of silverware. I'd say. Two sets of knives and forks in silver. You have see several gems, uh, two citrines, one jade. And anything else from here? No, that's way too good. Not giving you that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you, you've rummage a little bit deeper, but yeah, then there's just only nothing. Ah, oh, weird. Huh. You also see a healer's kit. Cool. Good. You take them all, I assume? Uh, yes. I'll hold up the box of silverware. I found the cutlery! Hmm. <laughs> I placed the spoon in a chest that I found. Uh, Flint, make a perception check. Perception, perception... Did you say I found one jade and two citrine? Yes. Cool. Okay. With an eight. You don't hear anything. Well, it's silent. I assume it's happy. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Looks like clay dollars. Hello. There's a growl behind you. As you turn around to look at it, you see an apparition of a dog in the doorway. Good doggy. Nice doggy. Uh, they're kind of like, um, so like pit bulls, I'd say, flavor. Dark black pit bulbs with a kind of ethereal glow about them. More than one? This one. I should say. So, this one? Hold on. This one? Oh no. <laughs> it suddenly howls. And you hear howls. I'll let everyone roll perception. Okay. <clears throat> Specifically, Simeon. You can hear several howls inside the house, but you can also hear several outside. There seems well, to be quite a few dogs. It, there's that danger you were speaking of. And the dog yeah. is going to charge into the room. And it's going to go straight for Simeon. I am going to use a reaction if it moves into my reach to get an attack with my go ahead. Your attack is going to stop its attack. That definitely hits. Oh, baby. That's a nat. Shame it wasn't a nat on the roll. <laughs> uh, that was just my reaction, right? So I can't do anything. Okay. And I'm going to say we'll go on the same turn order as last time, just to save re rolling for this. So, it'll be Simeon, that'll be you again. 
Can I not try and talk him down first with animal handling? I'd say no given the combat is initiated. You have to wait until your turn. Okay. So if you'd reacted first, you could have tried it. If I'd have heard him coming? Yes. Oh, damn. That's what it is. Right, yeah. Second verse, same as the first. It's uh, 15. That hits. Four damage. Four damage, and I'll uh, shield shove him against the wall. Like that. Okie dokie. And step forward. That goes to Flint. Stay down, mutt. And then I'll aim a level one magic missiles at him. It's only three wells. I'm gonna quickly go okay. Okay, as your last missile hits, slams it against the wall. And it looks like it's on its last legs. Do you end your turn? I do, yes. Okay, then. And that'll make it the dog's turn. The dog shall make a bite attack against Simeon, given he's kind of forced into Simeon. If I'd have saved a level... Ooh. It actually hits him. Okay. Uh, right. I was not expecting it to hit him, to be honest. <laughs> Okay, so that is going to be five damage to Simeon. And then it's going to be Nagrax's turn. Okay. The dog looks very messed up. Dog looks messed up, so that's ten. Is this room to scale him? Hey, yeah. Right, okay, so uh, Nagrax will round the column, just check how much movement it is. Okay, that's like 10 feet, so that should be fine. Um, he'll move to about here just so he can kind of like see the dog on the diagonal. And mm -hmm. then he'll cast uh, Sacred Flame. Okay. So, Roll your attacker. Um, also, Dex, save a 14 for the dog. Oh, it's a Dex save, is it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Okay then. Did anything uh, happen to me while I was gone? You got bits. Oh, lovely. How much damage did I take? Uh, five. Uh, five. Um, Actually, we, we assume 23 hits here. Is yeah. that stack saved him? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, then it doesn't go off. Okay, then. Okay. Anything else? Have you end your turn? Uh, I think that'll be the end of my turn. I'm not going to summon another bonk for that. Okay, then. Okay, so it'll be Finian's turn. He's going to run straight up to the doggo. And he's going to give it a one-two punch. Not just one okay, punch. It, and he kills it. I don't even need to roll anything else. The dog slams against the wall, and it disappears into dust. Does it drop anything? Nope. Okay. It's just dust. Okay, I, I heard more howls, right? Yes. Did definitely. anyone else hear him, or is it just me? Everyone heard the howls, but you specifically have a better idea of exactly who were and how many. Oh, okay. Um, uh, straight after uh, now, Greg is just going to ask, um, "Are you both all right, uh, Simeon and Finian?" Yes, yes, I'm. I'm fine. I'm fine. We uh, we have to go. There are more of those things. Uh, a lot more. Well, where could you hear them from? I only heard the one. Well, you did but... hear howls, but you just didn't hear how many. Well, I mean, that's why I'm saying that. Did I hear exactly how many? Or... I'd say it sounds like there's only a couple inside the house, and most of them are outside. Do I... You say they're like apparitions, right? They're not yes. physical form. Do I think that they may be able to pass through walls? Well, the last apparition you saw was able to. Hmm... There are, there are some outside. A lot, from what I can tell. We may have to barricade ourselves in somewhere. 
I don't know how we could, I don't know if taking them on in outside space is, uh, is smart. Maybe they want us to stay inside. It would is there probably... anything... So if there's anything like this one in front of us, I don't know they could enter at any moment. Flint, roll perception. No, I don't want to highlight everything. 21. The stool start next to you starts to shift slightly. Stool next to me starts to shift. This one. To the left. That one there. Right. Can I... Pin it down with my staff. Oof. Go ahead. So you pin your staff on top of it? Yeah. With your staff on top of it, it starts to suddenly buckle to the side slightly. Where are you going, little guy? The stool to the other side of you also then starts to move. Do we notice this, or is this just Flynn? Yes, you will notice it by this point. Right, okay. Flint. In that case, I'll say, Flynn, we probably need to get out of this room. We really don't want the furniture boxing us in. I'll, uh, I'll, st I'll step out into the hallway. I'll kind of step out with you as well to give Flint and uh, Vinian room to move. The last set of furniture that we encountered started talking. Maybe these would do the same. Several bars in behind you start to move. And this we probably your... need to go. Starts to rise, even with your staff. Yeah, right. yeah, you're probably right. I we have bigger worries than talking furniture. I'd probably say we need to get back to the hall. There's oh. less... I think there's less furniture there. Actually, okay, I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna run up towards this side door. It's closer. Um, I'll follow Simeon. If okay. He goes that way. Door oh. is open. I'm gonna go step outside. Uh, I will. 